What's up everyone, this is Cybernat, and today we're going to be opening up a Power box. This is a Pokemon uh, box set sort of thing that I uh, found at Walmart the other day, and I figured, uh, let's do an opening of it. I, I didn't know this was coming out or anything like that. I don't really keep up, though, with a lot of the Pokemon news. Basically, go to Walmart, happen to see it, and I'm like, oh, okay, let's do an opening of that. That's basically how I uh, do a lot of these. Anyway, uh, this looks pretty cool, though, because you get a Blacksmith and a Fairy Torch. It looks like hollow versions of them, so that's pretty cool. And uh, since I'm wanting to build a deck that uh, uses them, I'm not sure which Charizard version to go with yet again. I mean, because I know there's two different decks now, and I kind of understand how they both work a little bit better, but I'm still kind of like, which one should I go with? It's, it's, it's not so much, though, where I used to be where I didn't know uh, how they even worked or how to even build with either one. But, yeah. Getting Power Roar is actually pretty cool. I don't... I might only have, like, one Power Roar in, uh, in the online game, the TCG uh, online which is kind of weird. I guess they are kind of rare from the packs. I don't know. Maybe I just have bad luck. We'll see. I believe I get a code for one as well in this box. I think so. Let's see. First off, we have... Let's see. I'm making sure where the code is on this. Okay, so this is just a basically a guide. Uh, this could actually help me out a pretty good amount. Not bad. I, I haven't think about going with Charizard uh, Y, Mega Charizard Y, so... Yeah, maybe I'll go with some kind of deck list like this. I don't know. We'll see. It's pretty cool, though. I like how they have a guide like this. That does come in handy. Alright. Now let's see our promo and everything. First, we'll get Power Roar. And there we go. Here's Power Roar. There we go. Focus in on it. It has Crunch and Royal Flare. Looks pretty cool. I always like Power Roar. I thought it was a cool uh, newer Pokemon. And I also like how the female one uh, looks different, too. I always found that to be... a uh, you know, pretty cool how they do that. And the code. Of course it's flipped up that way. Yeah, I'll have to redeem this before I upload this video. So don't worry about that. We get two Flash Fire Packs, one XY. I don't know why they just don't give us three packs of Flash Fire, but whatever. I'd rather Flash Fire because I, like I said, I want the Charizards and stuff. But there's still a lot of cool cards from X and Y, so not really any complaining, I guess. Alright, put that to the side, and here you go. Here are Blacksmith and Fiery Torch. Uh, again, pretty cool to get them like this, and it's a nice looking holographic on them, too. So, yeah, this is cool to be able to get them like that. I guess X and Y first. There we go. Put the code over to the side, and let's see what we got. We have Taylo, Ekans, Lil Pup, Doduo, Slugma. Then we have a Star U Reverse, a Rhyperior Hollow. I actually have a few of these. Uh, Rhyperior is pretty awesome. Uh, let's see, we have a Loomis, a Super Potion, and Herdier. But yeah, Rhyperior. I'm hoping uh, whatever they do have, you know, something else after X and Y, you know, like, like a whole new region and everything, that we're going to see like new evolutions to Pokemon. I know how we had, of course, Mega Evolution stuff, and those are freaking awesome. But I hope to see, because I always thought that was cool about, uh, about Sinnoh and everything, too, how we got like Rhyperior and a lot of others like that, too. Although, like I said, I, I guess maybe they're just going to replace that with just Mega Evolutions. I don't know. And I like Mega Evolutions and all. I just kind of would... I'd still like to see some just regular Evolutions as well for some older Pokemon. I, and I hope that will continue. Let's see. We have uh, Sentret, Feebas, Bergmite, uh, Roselia, Gumi. Then we have a Blacksmith Reverse. That's pretty cool, actually. And uh, Stung Tank, uh, Pokemon Fan Club, Celio, and Magnetic Storm. That's pretty good reverse to get. Goes well with the one we got from the box itself. And then, uh, last pack. Let's see. Need to get another Pyroar or something from this pack. Something fire related. The other one was. Let's see. Baneri, Weasel, Sandile, Ponyta. Then we have Sneasel, uh, Floette for the reverse. Walrin. Uh, that's the opposite of fire, but whatever. It looks pretty cool. Uh, Protection Cube, Floette, and Luxio. And there we go. We were able to get one holo, which is right here, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, and not counting the promos. The promos, though, I think are worth it. If you're going to build a fire deck around them like I am, uh, I think this is a pretty good deal. So be sure to check it out. Get one of them. Like I said, I got this at uh, Walmart. And, uh, yeah, they had a few of them, so I'm going to assume they're not too hard to find. But, yep, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Like I said, might end up going with that deck list. Not too sure. Uh, I'm having such a hard time getting out the cards I need, though. That's the reason, you know, I, I need to do that profile, like, through... Uh, the actual uh, TCG Online game, probably, instead of using actual cards, because, yeah, I'm missing a lot of stuff at the moment.
Hopefully, though, I can get them and uh, do an actual deck profile for you guys on this channel. As always, thank you for watching. Remember to come right and subscribe and tell me about the openings you want to see in the future, too. Alright? Later, guys.